Hi, welcome to Sunday Brunch uh, on Let's Camp Some More. We are in Shabona because we're always here because it's a fun place to camp. Um, we like walking around and we came across Sharon and her really cool camper. So we thought we'd take a minute and just chat about what we saw, Absolutely. your camper, and you can tell us a little bit about it. Perfect, sounds good. You can hold the mic. All right, so where do you guys want to start in the yeah, back? Just start in the back. Perfect. So this is uh, uh, the Flyer Explorer by Intech. Um, it's something that we special ordered through Sunny Island RV uh, in Rockford. And um, we actually did a special order because we wanted the double tip out. So that's a feature that typically doesn't come with a camper. Uh, typically you'll find a door with a long horizontal window over on the side for uh, entry and then extra light also a screen in it, and then a tip out for the toy hauler feature in the back. Um, instead, we opted for these double access doors that are kind of spring hinged. Um, we put in one of the magic mesh, it's kind of something that we added to kind of test keeping the bugs out, if you will. I think it's fabulous. Helps a little bit. Uh, inside we have um, two full size beds. Um, an area for obviously to you to put your stuff, um, two USB wireless charging for phones and etc. A uh, couple of normal outlets, both up above there, and then there's also some on the floor down here. Um, it comes stock included with the radio, which you can Bluetooth to, because obviously nice. you don't always get good you know radio uh, signals when you're camping storage up top and then it does come with the AC included you can add optional heat and then the max cooling fan which is pretty cool so when this is all closed up you could still load up your our you know ATV your motorcycles your bikes whatever you'd like kayaks can fit up on top it's rated to hold those anything awesome. else lightweight um, it does have screens in the windows down here which is kind of a nice feature too just for some cooling at night but you still have the privacy for dogs and such if they wanted to be in there. You just sewed or put up a little fabric yeah, there? Yeah, just, to... I just, you know, used the the sticky back and mm -hmm. kind of hemmed it up and then Velcroed it, just Velcroed up on there because nice. this door's super easy to stick to and... That's really cute. Super functional, super functional. Um, it does have like light switches in, so where those bins are up there, it is lit. There is uh, four LED lights up within here too. So it does light it up nicely at night to the point where we had to put up the curtains for privacy, obviously. Um, super easy to wipe out and keep clean. Okay, and then so it normally doesn't come with two wings. No, normally it only That's comes with the roadside mm -hmm. tip out and we also added a curbside tip out. So it that's, sleeps that's six. That's what attracted us because you yes. never see that. Correct. Yeah. Yep. So this sleeps six adults because you could obviously put two on the floor air mattress or sleeping bags versus four adults typically. Um, it does also have the slide out kitchen, um, which does have a dual burner that runs off of the little propane Coleman type tanks down here. Uh, you just screw it in. It has your igniter. You can adjust the heat just like you would on any other stove. Super easy. Um, very easy to clean, you know, just up and down. Um, they did say too that, you know, we do use this other griddle over here and they did say you could actually get a piece of wood, put it up here and just kind of set it up there. But we like having a, more options, more space. Yeah. Yes. Um, it also has some storage down here where we have our little K-cup coffee maker. Uh, some of the normal essentials that you would have in there, a little area that's rubber uh, bungeed in for spices, super functional. Um, and that does lock so it doesn't move. And then in here, you can set this 12 volt refrigerator to run either off of the power from the camper or a battery. Um, and it does have two sections, one that keeps it um, a little bit warmer than this section. So this one will stay way colder than this one will. Um, and then obviously they have a lot of task lighting on this trailer. There was one of these on the very back side that you can turn on at night. It kind of lights up the world. Um, this LED task strip here, um, more power, uh, and their GFIs, which is always good for being outside. Um, this table actually normally comes set over that. You can see the two, um, little washers it hooks on. Um, for storage and for moving and then when you get to your site you can put it here to be at a like a little L shape. Mm 
have an owl. Oh, that's cool. Right there. We saw a there. hawk earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was right back in there in that tree. Um, so nice stored tongue, or is that? That's pro, storage. Okay? Um, oh, yep. Stuff. So because this actually works off of just those little propane, the little Coleman type oh, okay. ones. So we keep in here our wheel chocks, mm -hmm. the... Um, the boards that my husband cut to put underneath the levelers and then uh, bin with the propane and other little accessories in there. Um, obvious. Off of 30 amp? Um, yeah, nice yes. 30 amp yep. There. And um, it's all kind of in one, which is super nice. You don't feel like you have a thousand cords going all over the place. And then that's like the, yeah, it's the bat wing. Bat wing, yes. Yeah, so that was a really cool upgrade that we added only because the feature, and if you think about it, if you don't have the double tilt out, it's over your door too, right? Yeah. Which is super nice. Um, but this feature we added simply for um, convenience with cooking. So we figured it's gonna cover this whole end. We don't have to worry so much. You know, we can kind of leave stuff out a little bit more, which is super user friendly. Um, Do you know what the towing weight is of it? Uh, this, if it's empty, I believe it was seventeen fifty. Okay. Um, the gross vehicle weight um, loaded was twenty five hundred ish. Okay. So yeah. So. Have, to have the biggest vehicle. No, because this. Um, I actually have a four door Wrangler, and our Wrangler only is rated to tow thirty five hundred, mm -hmm. and it does it. Nope, you barely feel it back there. It's great. Yep. Um, so it works really, really well. So you don't need a big, and that's one of the uh, appeals of this is that you don't have to have, you know, a GMC Sierra loaded in order to pull it. Right. Um, and and with, the, with the two bed wings, it's, it's yeah. one of the neatest things I've seen in a long time. Yes. I, I like love camping, setup. so I see a lot of camping. Yes, it's super, um, it's open inside. It's kind of the happiness of a pop-up, which is yeah. what we wanted. We didn't want, you know, your typical tow behind or your drivable RV. So um, it gave us the convenience of a pop-up, makes you kind of feel, you know, like you're outside when obviously all the, the windows and everything are open, which haven't yeah. been because it's 90 today, but. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, like sweat rolling down my back. But without all the fancy bells and whistles that kind of just take up space, you don't really need. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, so, and cooking outside, it's nice and clean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I prefer to cook outside. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome, and, yes, thank you. Uh, we have a gift for you. Oh my goodness. You're you're now gonna be, uh, this is official entry into the Cool Kids Club. I love Valley. it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sticker from our campsite. Very or good. From our, our webpage. I so really appreciate it. Yeah. We'll go ahead and follow you guys. Yeah, right Thank on. you very much. Right, thanks, we'll see you next time on Sunday Brunch.